we do a, a few different things. So when we first get a product, we'll, we'll basically pay girls with Fiverr to do testimonials and everything else, right? So we'll send them the product and we'll just say, hey, try it on and give an honest review of what you think. So that's number one. One thing we started to do, um, we should be rolling out in the next month, is reach out to kids on college campuses. Because I know I was strapped for cash as a college kid. And so if you can get reviews from those people, that's also good. Um, and then our next step is going to be into the influencer side as well. So trying to kind of get ambassadors on board who can really kind of crank up the, you know, the content they're putting out. So we're going to be investing heavily, uh, on that side because we want to, we want it to feel as natural as possible. Whereas the Fiverr girls always feels quite forced. Um, and the college kids are a little bit better, but you know, a lot of these, a lot of these people who, you know, are influencers are absolute pros at what they do and can really, really make the difference. And the great thing is if you can get them to make, you know, three to five videos each and you're hitting up a new, a new influencer every single day, that's, that's a new campaign. You can just crank out. And then because you're driving dollars to the campaigns, you know what influencer your audience likes. So you're just, you're consistently learning more and more and more about, you know, the needs and wants of your audience. It's going to be such an interesting evolution for performance marketers, you know, where they're used to these these systems that are already built where you're just putting dollars in and you're seeing conversions come out. You yeah. know, th this whole influencer space is counterintuitive counterintuitive in some ways for performance marketers because you're relying on on less metrics. But then again, there are these people building systems and strategies that do allow you to 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 really quantify it a little bit more. And, and attribute it a little bit more. It's going to be really interesting to see the way it evolves. Who's doing it the, the best you've seen right now out there? Um, so in, in, on the influencer side, as a company, um, Fashion Over is amazing. Like really, really, really good. They are everywhere. Smashbox does a fantastic job. Um, in terms of people, um, it's actually the last two people we've had on, uh, on the podcast. I know Van. He, he does a really, really cool job. He's a good friend of mine. Um, and I know Nick, Nick does a really, really great job as well. So we actually, I actually had a phone conversation with Nick during the week and he dropped and us uh, with Nick and Jake, both of them, sorry, um, are doing an amazing job and they both dropped some, you know, really, really great knowledge and, you know, were really, really great with, uh, with helping us out. So we're definitely going to take that and, and run with it. But right now it's still a very manual process, right? It's really a, a, yes. a, a it's a spreadsheet. Like, look at each person, try to understand how 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 good their engagement is. Like, 